Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So it's been a while since I filmed a video and not gonna lie, um, I really thought about not filming this video, but um, some of you have been asking for it and I know you guys really like it when I do the chapter reads um, for the hashtag book. So here I am in my office. Um, it's late in the day. Um, it's already dark outside, so um, I'm sure you'll notice that my lighting in here is... Um, leaves a little bit to be desired um, <laughs> because basically it sucks okay um, I usually have all natural lighting I have all the windows um, open and things like that but because it's dark I can't do that so I kind of rigged up my own little lighting because I am no YouTube guru and I don't have any fancy lighting so I did the best I could for you guys so you'll just have to bear with me um, with the glare on the poster behind me and the shadows behind me and and all that so um, sorry for the crappy filming but I figured eh, I had my hair done I had makeup on my face and I was like I'm just gonna knock it out and plus today was a very good mail day for me and I'm super excited so um, I was like oh I just want to show everybody my stuff um, so in addition to this being the hashtag heart um, chapter read um, I'm going to also show you some of the pretties that I got in the mail today so it's kind of like a haul slash read you know it's just full of hashtag goodness you see my shirt thank you Sylvia I love it all right so um, yes so let's get started by the way missed you guys um, so first thing that I want to show you is this baby right here <laughs> So this is falling off the screen and you can't see it now. This is the um, the Nerd Hardback Anniversary Edition. Um, I made this book for um, the celebration of Nerd's one year birthday. Yay, Nerd! It's turning one. Um, I can't believe it's been a year since I've written this book and started this series, but it's almost a year so yeah so I did this special anniversary hardback edition um, I don't know if you can hear it see it's a hardback and it has this special cover and this is the front as you can see and then we have the back which has the blurb um, like on the original nerd but then it has um, some of the awards that it's won and then it has a special dust dust jacket um, as hardbacks do. The book itself is just like a blue woven material and then we have the jacket um, which is matte finish by the way and it's super soft and it just makes me you know want to hug it and love it and name it George. Um, so yes so here is the f inside first flap. Um, it has the original cover it has um, that it was voted a top 50 summer read on buzzfeed.com and then it has a little um, excerpt from Nerd to go with the cover and then on the inside jacket flap is me sorry you gotta look at that y'all just sorry and it has my bio and my website address so there's that and then it has this special whew, it's bending can't be having that good lord um, and then there's the special cover um, you know it's got Romeo's hoodie on there that's Nathan um, Nathan Weller he's kind of become our official Romeo that's him actually wearing the hoodie that's the picture of that and then there's Nathan right there his face and then there's Rimmel and then there is a behind the scenes picture from the nerd trailer which is releasing premiering November 3rd so yay nerd um, and then we have another picture right here of Rimmel from the trailer showing Romeo hit the tutor sheet. And then right here we have a little kissing scene because got to get the romance in there. So anyway, so let me tell you a little bit about the inside. 
Um, can you tell I'm super excited about this book? I was like, seriously, guys, when I was working on this and writing the bonus content and sending it over to my editor and doing the recipes and having the cover designed and all that stuff, I was like, oh, MG, this is so much work. Nobody's even going to care. Why am I doing this to myself? I'm going to sell like two copies, nobody cares. And then I um, finished it, I went through with it and put it out online and everyone's like, oh my God, I love it so much. And I'm just like, oh, you guys. So anyway, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so this is the title page. Can you see that? Sorry, once again, the lighting. Um, there. It has a little um, nerd glasses in the nerd and um, it also has, in addition to having the original um, hashtag nerd, it has the original blurb, um, not blurb, it does have that in there too, but it has the original author's note in there. But then it also has bonus content, which um, also makes it very special and hopefully worth the price for you guys. Let me find it. It's here, it's here. But I don't know where. Anyway, the bonus content contains two bonus scenes. Um, one of the bonus scenes, if you've been following the hashtag series for a while, I offered it as a free bonus for those who pre-ordered um, hashtag poser. Um, I know it only went out in a newsletter um, and everybody was like, when can we get it? When can we get it? Well, I put it in this book. Um, it's in print now, so you can get it. You can keep it on your shelf. You can read it whenever you want to. Um, but I also wrote a never before seen bonus scene um, some of the girls in my fan club were saying they wanted the scene where Rimmel and Ivy meet for the first time at Alpha U so I wrote that scene as well so there's two scenes the other bonus scene um, if you're not familiar with it it's between Romeo and Rimmel so it has that and there is also um, several recipes that um, some of the characters love throughout the book and there's also a little um, image in the back that tells you about the trailer and then there's a one year later author's note kind of like a little note from me um so here is the start of the bonus um you guys i'm sorry for the lighting and there is that um that's the first page and then let me show you some of the recipes because they're in color which um i think is really cool now it's not like whoa jump off your page color but um they're in color here we have the nerd apple cider because that's Rimmel's recipe right there slow cooker apple cider right here we have Braden's brownies and you know, I had to do a Smurf ball recipe. So there is the Smurf balls. And there's my author's note there, the new one. And then we have a little promo with some behind the scene pictures for the book trailer. So yeah, so um, lots of different fun content in there for you guys, um, all wrapped up in a pretty little package. So hopefully you will enjoy this if you are able to get it. Um, bring it to signings. I will be happy to sign it for you. Um, you can mail it to me. I'll sign it for you that way as well. Um, it will be on Amazon and Barnes and Noble um, very soon online to purchase, and I will put the purchase links online as soon as it's live. So yeah, so that's the anniversary edition. I also today got two new bookmarks. Um, this one I designed myself. Can you see that? It's It goes with the hardback. Um, so it has the cover on it. And then on the back it has the little teaser. And I promise it looks better in person because, you know, my lighting skills. Y'all be thankful I didn't do the trailer for Nerd because it'd be cheesy. <laughs> So yeah, so there's that one. And then I got this one, which my fabulous cover designer, Regina, at May I Design, designed for me. Um, it has the cover on it of hashtag heart. And um, it's basically like a little wedding invitation. It says, Romeo and Romo kick off their life, game time, 4 p.m., wear the stadium. And then on the back, it has the big lover's gonna love in the heart. So that's cool. And then I have one other thing that I got in the mail today. I got this giant canvas. Can you hear me talking from behind it? 
I got this giant canvas that Regina also made for me and I cannot wait to hang it on the wall. I think I want to get the entire series, all six covers, and put them up. Um, but yeah, isn't it awesome? So yeah, so fun mail day. I love it when stuff comes in the mail. <laughs> so yeah, that's my stuff. That's my haul. And yes, I do have some swag for hashtag heart for when it comes out. Um, I know I usually do a swag haul video. I don't know if I'll get to that this time, guys. I've been super busy, and on the 6th, I'm flying to Huntington, West Virginia for Rebels and Readers, um, so I'm going to be really busy with that, and then on the 9th, the hashtag heart comes out, plus I have um, this anniversary hardback coming out, and I'm also working on something else right now that's a secret, um, so keep an eye on my page, and I will update you on that as soon as the project gets a little bit further. So yeah. Yeah, so that is all my news for right now, um, besides the fact that, don't forget, the Nerd live action book trailer um, is premiering this November 3rd, and I have a big um, premiere event going on Facebook. Um, I'm giving away a lot of stuff. I'm going to premiere the trailer there. Um, Nathan Weller, he plays Romeo. He's on there. I'm sure if you ask him a question, he would be happy to answer it for you. Um, so yeah, so don't forget to check that out as well. Um, but yes, yeah, so I know you all want the chapter read. And this is, actually it's not the first chapter, it's the prologue. Um, and it's a very long prologue because it has two points of view in it, um, Romeo and Rimmel. So I'm not going to read the entire thing because, you guys... <laughs> You will get tired of listening to me talk. You're probably already like, please stop talking. Um, so I'm not going to read the whole thing, but I'll read a little bit. Just, you know, give you enough of a little peek for the book. Um, so I have it on my phone here. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it because of the screen. Yeah, you're not going to be able to see it because the screen glows. But it says the name of the prologue is She Said Yes Times Two. And then it's AKA the prologue. Um, if you hear any beeping or dinging, it's my tablet over here. Um, I got a new tablet so I could play the trailer at book signings. And um, I pulled it out and I'm like, oh, I'm going to be so super savvy. And I'm going to pull my book up on this tablet. I'm going to be able to read it off there instead of this little... Um, phone screen. I'll be lucky if I can get the trailer to play on that stinking thing. But anyway, it keeps beeping at me. I don't really know why, so we'll just pretend we don't hear it. Yeah. So anyway, so this is the prologue, and the first one is in Romeo's point of view, so that's which um, I'm going to be reading. It'll be from Romeo's point of view. And here are my usual disclaimers. One, I am not a professional narrator. I don't do this for a living. I will probably stumble over words. I'll probably say stuff wrong. I'll probably lose my place on the page and get confused and have to backtrack. So just remember, I do this because you like it. I don't know why you like it, but you do. So there, that's why I do it. Oh, and my other disclaimer is that Romeo likes to cuss and he likes to say the F word an awful lot. Just remember, that's not me saying the cuss words, even though I totally say them. It's Romeo, so don't be offended by my foul language. <laughs> okay, so here we go with the prologue. And the buzz at the top of the prologue is hashtag and the award goes to Romeo for the most romantic proposal of all time. Shakespeare has nothing on him. Some hashtag nerds have all the luck. Hashtag waiting for the wedding. So I guess I should tell you that the prologue picks up right after player ends. So if you remember hashtag player, that was... Um, three books ago. <laughs> that was Romeo and Rimmel's last book. Um, and if you remember, he proposes to her on the field. He interrupts um, a game and proposes on the field in front of everybody. So this picks up right after that happens. Um, so yeah, so let's get into it. Romeo. <clears throat> Best game of my entire career. Yeah, okay, it was only my first season, and yeah, okay, I still had a lot of games in my future, God willing, but I knew without a shadow of a doubt that nothing, no game, not even a Super Bowl title could ever beat out today. 
Make it to the next page, y'all. Congratulations went around the locker room. I got slapped on the back, the ass, and in the head so many times you would think it got old, but I was too happy for that. I was even too happy to be bothered by the ribbing and snide remarks I heard from a few corners around the room. Fuck them. Rimmel was going to be my wife. I felt my mouth pull into a wide, toothy grin. Hells yeah! I thought back to the moment I first realized that she was it for me. That night at the animal shelter when she sat down on the floor, soaking wet from the rain, and Murphy crawled into her lap. She would pulled her hair out of her face and looked up at me. It was go game over from there on out. I'd been hers. Even so, I'd been a little nervous tonight before the game. Asking a girl to marry you on live television in the middle of a giant football game was sort of a gamble, especially for a girl like Rim. She liked her privacy. She liked to blend in. Rimmel didn't know it, but she was destined to stand out. Without even trying, she'd become the darling of the football world. The cameras loved her and got at least one shot of her sitting in the stands at every game she came to. They watched her clothes, her hair, hell, they even talked about her glasses. She was an unlikely fixture in the center of a football game. She wasn't a model, a celebrity, or even someone who wanted to draw the public eye, and for that the people loved her. She was the girl next door, the one that everyone knew. People related to her in ways they couldn't they couldn't to all the other football elite. I'd been planning to ask her to marry me for a while now. I'd just been waiting for the right time. Then shit hit the fan at home. Zach was released. He went after Ivy, tried to kill her, and almost did. Brayden made it just in time to save her life. When I walked into her hospital room and saw her lying there battered and bruised, it served as a heavy dose of reality. We weren't guaranteed any amount of time time on this earth. We weren't promised another day, another chance. It sealed the deal for me. I couldn't wait any longer to claim Rimmel in every possible way. Next page. I called up Ron Gamble and told him I was ready. He'd been thrilled. Back when he set up the false press conference for me to, and basically helped me nail the bastards trying to escort money out of me in exchange for Rimmel's life, I'd made him a promise. I promised when I proposed I'd do it during a game. He wanted huge media buzz and he knew this way he'd get it. So tonight during the game, I'd done it, right there in front of thousands of cheering fans. God damn, she looked so adorable in her Purple Knights hoodie and glasses. The surprise in her eyes was so real, and so was the emotion. The second I slid that ring onto her finger, my entire world felt complete. As soon as I finished changing, I tossed all my shit into my bag and headed to the door. I wanted to see my future wife. Someone's getting laid tonight, one of the guys hollered as I walked toward the door. Hells yeah, I yelled and left them all to their dirty jokes and exaggerated moans. You guys are such pervs. Oh, th those guys were a bunch of pervs, clearly. Wait, you guys, what is happening? What's happening? Clearly Romeo agrees about the pervs. <laughs> I loved them. Well, almost all of them. I stepped out into the quiet tunnel that led to the parking lot. I imagined Rimmel waiting out there for me and quickened my pace. Some movement in the shadows against the wall had my steps faltering and a small figure stepped out into the light. I grinned. How'd you get in here? She mock gasped and pressed a hand to her chest. The rock I just put there glistened under the light and shone brightly. Don't you know who I am? She intoned. I pretended to think it over. Can't say that I do. She started forward, her eyes never once leaving my face. I'm the future wife of the best player on this team. Ah, I drawled. I thought you looked familiar. I dumped my bag at my feet and held open my arms. Get the hell over here. She laughed and ran at me. I caught her mid-air and her legs fastened around my waist like she didn't even have to think about it anymore. She just knew where she belonged. Mrs. Anderson, I growled. Not yet, she sang. I'm having hair problems. <laughs> you guys, what the heck? <laughs> Blinding me. I can't see. See? <gasps> sorry. Sorry, sorry. Soon. Oh, sorry. 
See, not a professional narrator. Soon, the world was on, the word was almost lost between us when I covered her lips with mine. Her lips parted instantly, and my tongue sought hers eagerly. My fingers tightened on her hips, and we went at each other right there in the tunnel. Rim's hand fisted in my hair, and my mouth assaulted hers. A few steps, and I pinned her back against the wall, using my chest to hold her in place and rip my mouth free to trail hot wet kisses down her neck and then up to nibble on her earlobe her core rocked against my waist and she groaned with need impatient her hand went between us and started traveling low but she couldn't reach the part of me she wanted most the distressed sound that ripped from her throat made me laugh I stepped back just enough so she could slide down my body. The way she felt rubbing along my front was damned intoxicating. When her hand found and squeezed the rock hard erection beneath my sweats, my body jerked. Come on, I said hoarse. I got us a suite at a nearby hotel. It's got lots of nice amenities, but we're not going to use them. Her teeth sank into her lower lip with anticipation. Show me, I demanded, possessiveness flaring inside like some incurable disease. Rim knew what I wanted, and she lifted her hand and held it out between us. The engagement ring took over her small hand. I'd gotten as big a diamond as I dared, knowing if I went too big, she'd refuse to wear it. Hell, I knew the three-carat ring I'd gotten was probably more than she would have wanted, but I didn't care. That ring re represented so much to me. It represented my love for her. It represented me. It represented what we were to each other. And yes, I admit, it was also a large warning to any guy who ever dared to look at her. Hell, they'd be able to see that glittering center stone and smaller stones around it from across the room. It was a giant she's taken sign right there for every man to see. I liked it. It brought out my primal side. It brought out my continued need to claim her. You like it? She whispered, taking her hand and lifting it up taking her hand and lifting it up to my, oh, what? What did I write here? Oh, you like it? I whispered, taking her hand and lifting it up to my lips. I've never seen anything so beautiful, she whispered, as I pressed a kiss to the ring and her hand. I grunted. I have. She bestowed upon me a brilliant smile. I picked her up and went over and dangled her upper body over my bag on the ground. I need my bag, Mrs. Anderson. She laughed and picked it up. Her laugh turned to a screech when I pulled her up and flipped her body so I was able to carry her against me. You can't call me that. We aren't married yet, she said, settling my bag in her lap. Want to fly to Vegas tonight? She laughed, but when I didn't join her, she glanced up and sucked in a breath. You're serious? As a heart attack. We can't just fly to Vegas. The hell we can't. Tomorrow is my off day. We could be married by morning. You'd marry me tonight? I laughed. I'd marry you right the fuck now if I could. I love you, she said, her eyes filling with tears. Whoa, I pulled back when she tried to come at me for a kiss. What's with the water? She giggled and blinked. I just can't believe I'm so lucky. Is that a yes to Vegas? I asked, hopeful. She chewed on her bottom lip and then nodded once. I actually jolted in surprise. My feet stopped working and I stared at her in shock. Did you just say yes? No, silly, she laughed. I already said yes, out there on the football field. My heart actually turned over. You'd marry me tonight? I'd marry you right the fuck now, she used my own words. I loved it when she said fuck. I grinned like the goofiest motherfucker on the planet. She made me sound, she made me so stupid happy. I never in a million years thought she'd actually agree to go to Vegas and marry me tonight. God damn, it was the most powerful feeling to know that she loved me as much as I loved her. I started running to the car. She squealed and hung on to the bag in her lap as it knocked around. Outside, there were a gaggle of reporters all hanging around just waiting for us to come out. My steps slowed to a quick walk when I saw them. I should have thought about this. I should have expected the press to be right there. Hell, they were always around. They rushed us, shoving cameras and lights in our face. Rimmel shrunk back against me and I tightened my grip. I didn't want to deal with this right now. I wanted to continue being stupid happy, but these people were stupid annoying. I smiled anyway and turned to face the mall, holding Rim. Just practicing for after the wedding, I joked. 
They all laughed and snapped some pics. One of the female reporters pushed close. Let me see the ring! Rimmel glanced at me and then held out her hand. More camera bulbs went off. If you'll excuse us, I said, we have plans. I spun deftly and moved through the cloud. At the Hellcat, I tossed the bag into the back seat and then more carefully placed my life in the passenger side, taking care to buckle her, and left my knuckles skim across her breasts. Once that was done, I rushed around to the driver's side and threw the cat into motion. Rimmel laughed like she was totally amused, and I tossed her a smile. We made it to the hotel in record time. It was the nicest one in this town. I booked the honeymoon suite and asked them to fill it with white roses. When I told them my name, the lady almost pissed her pants with excitement that I was staying at her hotel. So I chatted her up, charmed her, and Rim got a couple more dozen roses in the room for free. What can I say? It's a gift. All right, I'm going to stop there because I, the prologue still has more of him and then a whole um, scene from Rimble's point of view. Um, and you'll just have to see if they go to Vegas or not when you get the book. So, um, and see what happens with that. Um, and also about the book, there is... Um, Braden and Ivy. So it alternates four point of views. Um, Braden and Ivy and Romeo and Rimmel. And what I did um, in a way was if you read Hashtag Poser, which if you're going to read Hashtag Heart, you definitely should have read Hashtag Poser. Um, if you remember, I broke it up into three parts with Zach in the middle. Um, what I did here was I also broke it up into three parts. There's the prologue, three parts, and then there's the epilogue. Um, the three parts also kind of alternate between Romeo and Rimmel and then Brayden and Ivy because I didn't want to have all four going at the same time because that like totally made my brain mushy. I was like sitting at the computer like, oh my god, there's four of them. Um, and I wanted it to kind of make sense and I want it to be a clean read. So hopefully um, that will be a little bit easier to read since it is so many point of views. Um, but yeah, so I hope you guys really like Hashtag Heart when it comes out. Um, it is the final book in the Hashtag series. Um, I totally... Um, poured my heart into this book. I definitely think Hashtag Heart is the most appropriate title that I could have given this book. Um, not just because it's their wedding um, and they all love each other, but because um, it really does have all of my heart in this book. I um, I just, I love this series so much, you guys, um, and I know you love it too, and I just want to thank you so much, so much for all the support that you've given it, and for the love that you've shown the characters, and it's like we're all family, and you guys have made them family, and it just, they just, they just feel real to me, and I know they feel real to a lot of you guys, so um, thank you so much, and I'm going to stop talking because if I keep talking, I'm probably going to start crying, so um, thank you so much, and I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm sorry that it's super long, but I hope you liked it, and enjoy Hashtag Heart, and thank you so much for all your support. I'll talk to you later, guys.